In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to add video to your site. And there's various formats that we're going to um, test here uh, from JW Player, uh, YouTube, Vimeo, and the new uh, Wizia. Uh, we're going to start off with the JW Player. Uh, this um, is going to be used in the Tessus theme, but it does uh, work across uh, my other themes too. So head over to uh, Media Library, and we're going to add a small uh, MP4 video for our JW Player. Uh, example. Once that's uploaded to our media library, what I'm going to do now is head over to the uh, slide set manager and I'll show you this um, method of inserting uh, video. So I'm just going to create a, a slide uh, video example slide. So add a number of uh, images in. I'm just going to pick them from our media library. Click on the, the settings for each uh, individual one and head down to media. Now within here this is where we insert our media URL and the first example I'm going to use uh, YouTube. So we simply uh, copy and paste the YouTube URL or the YouTube video URL into our media URL box so it contains the ID on the end. We then uh, if we want the, the video to be embedded on the site, then we uh, choose the YouTube uh, embed type. And we'll set the autoplay. Um, the timeout option there is for use with the stage gallery if we wanted the video to, um, or the slide to, uh, last the length of the video. So give it a title. Head over to the second slide. And we'll use um, Vimeo for this example. So again, copy the uh, Vimeo uh, video uh, URL and paste it into the media URL box. And again, because we're going to embed the video, we're going to choose the Vimeo embed type. Let's give that a title too. So the third one, we're just going to uh, use the uh, Wizia um, method. So we head over to Wizia and we simply just click the video that we want, go to video actions and share. So right click and copy, then paste that into the field and again set the embed type. Then the last one we're going to assign uh, the JW player. So so far we have um, YouTube, the first one, Vimeo, and Wizir. And this example we're going to go to our media library. Just edit the uh, video, not view, and then copy the file URL. So again, back into the settings, let's give this a title, and then paste the uh, URL of our video in there and set the uh, JW player embed type. Okay, so that's done. So we're going to save that. Now for the JW Player, we need to install the JW Player uh, WordPress plugin. Uh, previous versions, you had to add the files uh, from Tessus 2.01 and Dynamics uh, 3.0 and all other things. You need to use uh, the uh, JW Player uh, WordPress plugin. So we're just going to add that in and activate it. So just do a search for JW Player in the Install Plugins and it should find it. Okay, so now that's activated. That's all we need to do. Uh, that should take uh, the video URL and automatically assign the embed code um, for, J for the JW Player. So head over to a page and create a test um, page. And I'm just going to demonstrate using a grid gallery. So we select our source as the um, slide set 
and then choose the video example from what we just created. Just give it an image effect and set that to two columns. Now if we uh, preview the page, there's all our different uh, video types all embedded on the page using the grid gallery. You so said they're all set to autoplay, so they're all going crazy right now um, playing. Uh, so we can actually change that within the uh, the, the settings of the individual uh, videos. So we head back over to the slide set manager. Let's edit that. Within the settings, go to media and then turn the autoplay to off. So we'll do that for a couple of videos. And just leave the other two auto playing. And there you can see just the two videos, uh, Wizir and JW Player are um, auto playing, and the other two are uh, paused on load. Okay, we're going to head back over to the settings. I'm just going to disable the auto play on the last um, two videos. So they're all set to um, paused on load. Now if I head back to the first slide, what I'm also going to show you is um, how to um, enable the light box and show the video um, within the light box instead of the uh, embedding on, on the actual page. So we're setting all these um, embed types to disabled, which means that it will display the image. Now for JW Player, it's not currently possible to um, show the video within the light box, but I'm hoping to develop this feature um, very, very shortly. Okay, so let's head over to the page and refresh. So there you go, there's our images, and they've got, don't show any of the videos. Uh, so what we need to do is head back over to our page, switch the light box on, or actually we'll give it an image width first and then switch the light box on so we've got our image um, set to um, suit the page and then within each of the images we just click on the light box and our video starts to play um, within it so that's the differences between embedding the video and actually playing within the light box I'll just show you the last example, which is Wizir. And as I said, as mentioned uh, previously, currently uh, it's not possible to show JW Player within the light box. But this feature is in development, and maybe by the time you're watching this, it will actually be available. I've just noticed I haven't got the, um, the title um, for the Wizir. Uh, video, so I'm just going to go back into the slide set and add the title and just uh, update that. And there you go, the title's in there now. If we head back over to the page, I'm just going to show you um, by switching to stage gallery that the same settings will be applied um, just with a different. Um, just the gallery is selected so again clicking on the light box will show the videos so whatever is set in the slide set manager will apply um, to any of uh, the galleries we then apply it to the next example i'm going to show you is using the visual composer to add a video uh, short code so click on the visual composer add element and go to video player now within here we can select the um, the type, the embed type that we want. So for this example, I'm going to um, uh, just uh, use YouTube. So again, we can choose the video ratio if we wanted to. Um, so head over to YouTube, copy the video URL again, paste it into this um, field here, and then we can set a width. So set that as uh, 300 and then I'm going to enable autoplay and the shadow effect so once we're happy with those settings we just uh, click on the, the save button so there's our video player within here 
and we can go back and edit those settings at any stage if need be. So I'm going to preview that. So below our gallery we have our uh, YouTube embed and with our effect on etc. So I'm going to head back to the page. I'm going to split this into two columns and I'm going to add another video player. Uh, this time I'm going to choose the Wazir. Again, leave the uh, ratio um, as uh, 16 by 9. Go back to Wazir, copy the URL, and paste that into the field. Again, enable the shadow effect. And I'll leave autoplay off for this example and just enter in width. Uh, preview that. There we go. So YouTube is also playing, uh, Wazir is not. And that's how you add video shortcodes to your page. Now I've shown you how to add uh, video using uh, the slide set manager. Uh, you can do the exactly the same uh, with posts. So what we're going to do is head over to our um, post uh, page and we're going to edit an existing uh, post here. Now this post has an image attached to it already. So we just head down to the gallery uh, slash media tab and then within here paste our Wazir uh, media URL. We then also need to set the embed type. So do that there. Now because we're embedded it won't show this image uh, but if we set the blog pages to uh, Lightbox then it will show the featured image. We then set the format to uh, video and we'll save that. Now if we head over to our um, site and then click on uh, the uh, it was already showing the blog page up. So there you go, there's our embed uh, or embedded video. We can then uh, control um, the size etc of the um, of the video by going to appearance theme options and then the blog tab head down to the blog um, page images uh, within here this is where we can set um, the the width of the video we can also change the effect if we wanted to And there we go, so it's increased our uh, the size of our video uh, slightly. I may just uh, adjust that to be a little bit larger. Let's try 500. Refresh that. There we go, that suits um, a little bit nicer. And that pretty much wraps up how you add uh, video to your uh, galleries, pages, and posts.